That's it to right field. Long run for Pilar. And Pilar all out into foul territory to make the play. Bogarts with a drive out to right field. Judges back on it, and that one's gone. Against all odds. Here's a high fly ball driven deep to right. Verdugo back to the pen. Leaps up. He caught it. He caught the ball. He took it back. And I will keep on waiting for a better day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the pesky poll podcast. How you guys doing today? I really appreciate you guys for swinging by and listening to this episode. Today we have an insanely special episode for you guys. No, it's not my birthday, but it is the birthday of the Pesky Poll Podcast. As you guys are listening to this, I am recording it on Tuesday night, February 23rd. If you go way, way back into this channel, this is for the YouTube people and the Instagram people out there. Shout out to all 1,200 of you on Instagram. We have, you'll see our first Instagram post and our first podcast episode were released on February 23rd. Now, I, I can't say how much this has meant to me doing this. All right. So for this very special episode, episode 56, I kind of want to take you guys on a story from episode one, how this all got started to episode 56, where we are now. And now I know a lot of you people out there really just want the Red Sox news. So that will be later on in the episode. Give it about 15, 20 minutes. Let me talk. Let me do my thing. You know, I, I like rambling and this is an episode that Ari and I wanted to do at our sixth month, but Ari said, hey, let's wait a minute and let's just do it down the line. And I said, okay, cool. That's no problem at all. So I'm going to tell you guys about some of my favorite episodes so far, some of my favorite moments from the Pesky Poll podcast and all that stuff. So if you guys do like that content, YouTube, you get to see this beautiful face. And for now, for today, it's only me. All right, you only get to see me. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are 27 subscribers strong right now. Hoping to get that up just little by little by little. So help me out with that. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. You can see every time that I go live. Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. I never forget about you guys. How are you guys doing today? You get to listen to my voice. Many people, eh, not many, a few people have told me I have a really good voice. So hopefully you do enjoy it and it makes you want to hit that follow button to listen to every single time that I go live, which is twice a week, when you will be seeing this on Wednesday at 7 p.m. on the dot every every week. And then on Sunday, the Lord's Day at 7 p.m. also, so I, on YouTube, can watch it with you guys. So, without further ado, follow that Pesky Poll Podcast Instagram at Pesky Poll Podcast and be one of the first 1,200. We're, I think we're at 1,200 now. Be one of the first 1,300 people to be following that account. All right, we're going strong, and we're gonna we're doing great things. All right, great things are in the works. Something was just released today, if you guys are a fan of the Instagram. I will get into that later. So let's start fa- back from the way beginning. So it's like February 17th, uh, February 18th, right? It's a Monday. I'm in tap class, all right? For those of you who don't know out there, I'm a dancer. Shout out to Dean College, which I'm at right now. I'm a dancer, and that's what I want to do for a career, all right? I'll get into that later. But I get a message from my boy, okay? I'm in Massachusetts. He's in Maine. And he says, hey, I'm feeling, I think the direct message was, hey, I'm feeling really inspired right now. Let's start a podcast. And I'm like, I'm down about what? And he's like, I want to do something about the Red Sox. That's what I know most about. And I'm like, bet, let's do it. Let's get this done. Now for me, it was kind of in my comfort zone because for about a year at that point, I had been doing this thing um, on another YouTube channel that I have that has 70 some odd subscribers, haven't touched in a couple months. But it's called Shell Sports, where I talk about basketball. You know, I'm a big basketball guy. I love basketball history. So I've been talking about that. Haven't been able to do it as much now that I've gone with this um, two times a week. And um, 
and just all my schoolwork and everything. So that channel's kind of been dead for two months. But, you know, I'll probably get back on that sooner rather than later. So I'm like, you know what? I got some experience being in front of a camera, so let's try it. We figure out a day to sit and record. And a week, uh, two weeks before we sat down to record, the Mookie Betts trade happened. So at least we had some news to talk about, you know? So we're sitting on the night of the 21st, I believe. I believe it was a Thursday. No, it was the night of the 22nd. It was a Friday night. Okay, R and I are sitting here on call, and we're just trying to think of something. Right, we're like, okay, we need first, we need a name. All right, Section Ten has their name, and it's a great name. You know, it doesn't roll off the tongue that well, but it works with what they do. So, I kid you not, Ari and I were sitting down for three hours trying to figure out a name, and I finally went through. Right, I was going and looking at just some things that were known. To Red Sox fandom, you know, some players, some things like the Fenway fanatic. I know I couldn't use the word Fenway in there. There's a lot of copyright issues that you got to worry about that you can't use. So, you know, it was very hard trying to tread those waters. So I finally thought of a great name. And it just like the he- I've, I've said this before in the podcast, the heavens just opened up and it was like the Lord was just singing to me. The pesky poll podcast the triple piece it rolls off the tongue so the alliteration i mean come on man you can't get much better than that so first thing i did was go on and look to see has anyone else thought of this name went on spotify itunes youtube instagram nothing nobody's thought of the name yet so i'm like it's mine uh, that's mine. I created the Instagram page within 20 seconds. I then put up the YouTube page, made an email, did all this other fun stuff for it that night. Ari was hyped about it. And I'm like, okay, tomorrow morning, we're sitting here and we're recording our first episode. Now, that first episode was tough. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If you go back and listen to it, first of all, I believe I put copyright music in there. I'm going to have to take that down off of YouTube at some time because of the copyright music I put in there. But, you know. It's episode one. I want to keep it. I'll probably download it to my computer just so I'll forever have it. But I just remember I was in my apartment and I didn't have a actual chair that I could sit up in. It was like a slouchy chair. So I'm trying to posture up as much as I can to look presentable to you guys. Um, I was wearing a polo, which I still do now, actually. I can't even do that. Ari was in his nice setup and we just started talking. That was the only thing we had on the agenda was just the Mookie trade and we just talked and talked and talked we wanted it to be about 30 minutes long first episode was 53 minutes and change it's a great episode all right I it was it was a train wreck it was an absolute train wreck looking back on it but that's how you're going to start all right for anyone out there interested in podcasting your first 10 episodes are going to be horrible that's how it is all right you just getting into it you know you're going to learn so we do it it's horrible we post it Right. And it just goes well from there. I was sitting there recording it on my phone. Okay. And you guys will see every episode until like something in the mid 20s. Um, Every episode until then was, um, you'll see in the bottom right corner has a little power director, a little watermark on it. That was because I had to edit every single episode video from my phone everything that you saw from the pescable podcast was from my phone now for the first couple months of us doing the pescable podcast ari was in charge of the instagram and i was in charge of the videos editing topics all that fun stuff so you know i'm going through and i'm like well we're about we're going through and we get to episode four and i'm like ari i really 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 want to interview a professional athlete and he's like, there's no way on earth somebody will will go on our show before we get to like 15, 20 episodes. And I'm like, watch me. All right. I reach out to probably 30 different players in the Red Sox organization. Not major leaguers, obviously, but minor leaguers. You know, people way down in the ranks. So I'm sitting there and I'm going through. And then I'm like, you know what? Um, let me just stop here. 
So I stop and I take a couple days off. After about a day and a half of not doing it, I get a message back and I was shocked. First of all, I wasn't using the pesky poll um, Instagram to reach out to him. I was using my personal because at least my personal has like 310 followers and the Instagram account had like maybe 25. You know, it didn't look the best. So send this guy a message. He's like, yeah, sure, I'll hop on. And I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. I contact Ari and he is hyped up for it. First guy was Brendan Salucci, which you guys have seen on the show recently and who I would consider a good friend of mine now. You know, great guy. And he's he's helped some of my guys out with some of their stuff that they've wanted to do, you know. I had a writer who um, his Instagram name is a bloop and a blast. Go follow my boy. He's putting in that work, all right? Ain't no just he's putting in so much work to his Instagram and his blog and his writing. Go go support that man. Go give that man some love. All right. He reaches out to me. I direct him Brendan's way. Brendan says yes to helping him. One of my other friends is like, hey, I'm starting a podcast. He um I have this podcast started. Do you know anybody who I can interview that's just a minor league player? And I'm like, well, he's been willing to do it for me. At least send him a message and give it a shot. And Brendan was able to do it for him. So Brendan comes on the show and it's the worst. It's one of the worst interviews ever. All right. I had no experience interviewing people, so I didn't really know. We literally just went question, answer, question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. And it was okay, you know. I'll still go back and listen to it. I think it's a fair listen. And Ari and I keep in touch with him. We go about our days, and we're like, we definitely want to have you back on the show. And so we keep going. A couple months down the road, um, Ari and I are still going with it. And we weren't getting the success we really thought. So, like, you know what? We need to branch out to other places. I'm like, you know what? Spotify. All right, I need this on Spotify. And so, 16 weeks into this podcast, by the way, four months, I um, figure out how to do it, and I get on. Now, it costs money to be on Spotify. It costs me $10 a month. So, so far, it's cost me about 80, 70, 80 bucks to be on here. But, you know... Um, and still to this day, I haven't made a dime off this. I haven't made a single dime off of doing what I love. You know, I'm cool with it. People say, Hey, you need to find a way to get paid. I'm trying to find a way to get paid. I'm trying to do sponsorships, trying to do all this. But right now I'm focused on getting you guys amazing content. All right. You guys are going to love the content. More of you are going to come on. It's going to fuel me even more than I can worry about getting paid. All right. That's. I've I've spent hundreds of dollars on this podcast. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I spent a lot of money on this podcast. Worth it. Every penny worth it. Y'all don't even know. So, going a couple months in, I get us on Spotify. And it's great, you know. My first month on Spotify, I will read you guys the numbers right off my uh, laptop. Give me two seconds to get them up. So my first month, I remember this, I had five downloads, five downloads on Spotify, iTunes, and Google, and Google Play. It's insane. All right. To me, I'm like, and in the month of June, I had two episodes out. So I'm like, wow, a couple people sat here and listened to my episodes. That's insane to me. You know, I was sitting here just dumbfounded at the fact that people would sit here and listen to my stuff. I love it. I love it so much. So get to, um, get to July. We have about 62. Now, funny story what happened in July. I reach out to a guy who I'll keep nameless and he's in the Detroit Tigers organization. Very, very promising starting pitcher, uh, starter relief. I don't remember. Very prominent and looking like he might make the majors sometime soon. So uh, I reach out to him like, yo, you want to be on the show? And he says, yeah, absolutely. Here's my phone number. First message this dude sends me just gives me his phone number straight off the bat. And I'm like, well, why would you do that? But I'm like, hey, do you have Skype? Don't receive a message for days. Send a message, hey, can you record on this day? And he says, yeah, I can record on that day. And I'm like, perfect. Do you have Skype? Don't hear anything back from him. A couple days later, we get to the day, I think we're supposed to record July 3rd. 
and I say, and I say, hey, I got to cancel for now. Ari's got some July Fourth plans going on early. Uh, can we do Monday the fifth? And he says, yeah, absolutely. I'm down for then. Just let me know. And I said, ten thirty work. He said, ten thirty works. And I'm like, perfect. Do you have Skype? No answer. We were supposed to court at ten thirty in the morning, on the fifth. I get a message at nine a.m. saying, hey. Sorry, but my agents tell me this ain't a good move. I'm going to have to duck out. Best of luck to you guys. I'm like, if that wasn't the most unprofessional thing I have ever seen. So we have five downloads in June. And we get to July, and I have 62. 62 people out there decided that I was worth a listen on Spotify, iTunes, and Google, and Google Play. That's, I mean, most of you guys will sit here and say, that's 15 viewers an episode. Like, what are we getting so crazy about here? And I'm sitting here like, hell yeah, that's 15 people each episode that want to listen to my stuff. I am so excited, right? July, August comes. I have another 75. September, 71. And then October, November was a very, very hard point for this podcast. All right. Combined, we had... 70 for the month, you know, we cut down our views by half and it sucked. And I'm sitting here like, we, Ari and I just couldn't find that consistent schedule. You know, some, some days we'd be recording here. Some days we'd be recording there. We missed like three episodes throughout that time. And it was one week. It was his fault. One week it was my fault. And the other week I was on vacation. So we couldn't do anything about it. You know, stuff like that. So it was hard. It was very hard. And Ari and I were going through some tough things. But then at the end of November, one of my buddies reaches out to me. His name's Adam. You guys know him. He was on the last show. He says, hey, I'm sitting there at work, all right? It's it's 11 o'clock at night. I get a call from Adam. I'm sitting there stocking shelves. I answer my mom's speakerphone. Yo, what's up? He says, hey, um, how's your podcast going? I'm like, could be better right now, I'm not going to lie to you, but what's up? And he says, I'm doing, um, I'm starting a podcast. I'm like, oh, sick. Let's go. What are we What are we talking about? He's like, I want to do a football podcast. I'm like, that's awesome. And then over the night, I started thinking. I'm like, we need these podcasts to be the same thing. This is a dream I had for a while, for months now. Like, for way, way, way down the road, I'm like, we need a brand. I'm like, he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, we need a brand for our podcast to be under. And then him and I were talking for hours about it. And right now in the brand, we have seven people. Uh, but right then, it was five. It was me, Adam, our editor, Madeline, my ex-girlfriend, Brian, and Justin. Those were our five. And Ari, too, at the time. But Ari just wanted to stick to the podcast. He didn't want anything to do with the brand itself. So we get on, and um, we're sitting there trying to figure out names. Fumble Ruski podcast came after like two hours. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember that was a big Chris Berman line. I said, Fumble Ruski. That's your thing. All right, there's another Fumble Ruski podcast out there right now, but hopefully these guys can keep going with it, and I'll perform them. That's another thing I forgot to tell you guys about. There was another Pescopo podcast, but I'll say that in a second. So about an hour after that, I'm like, you know what would be great? All five of us that are in this right now, we're all college kids. We're not professionals at this. We're amateurs. And you know what they say when the newbies come to get on stage? They call it amateur hour. So that's what we are. Amateur hour sports network. You know? It works perfect. I apologize for that. Once again, it does say do not knock on my door, but people still decide to knock, you know, and I got to answer because that's part of the job. So let just just ignore that slight cut, but we'll keep going. So I decided to name Amateur Hour Sports Network. It's great. You know, we start launching everything. We get the big news. We change, Ari and I changed the logo and the logo. Beautiful. All right. Logo's gorgeous. I love it. So we keep going through. We get to December, right? Ari and I do uh, the Christian Koss video. We get Christian Koss. We were talking about him the week before, how he just got traded. I sent him a message. I'm like, yo, what's up, my man? 
congratulations on coming to Boston. You want to be on the show. Our fans would love to get to know you. And he's like, absolutely. Just let me know when. So we get him on the show and best interview of my life. All right. Ari, just having Ari there was perfect. All right. It was the first interview since the salute you won way back in April that Ari's been able to get on. So, you know, it was only fitting that that would be the last. Um, after that, right, right after that show, we had the Whitlock episode where I reached out to Garrett Whitlock, the Rule 5 guy, and I said, yo, do you want to hop on? He said, sure. And that, once again, another dream of mine. I got to sit and talk to an actual Red Sox player. Someone who's down in Fort Myers right now training with the Boston Red Sox. I got to sit down and talk to him. Think about that for a second. That... I'll, I'll get I'll get into all the stuff I'm thankful for work later, but we get we get right before we do the Whitlock episode. Ari sends me a text. He's like, "Dude, I'm so sorry. I got to I got to bounce out of the podcast." And Ari basically says, "Look, work has gotten way too much for me. School work, all that stuff. I, it's just going to get worse next semester. It's not going to be fair to you or me to try and work around both of our schedules. I think it's just time I bail out." And I went through a really hard point there. You know, the podcast was getting back up to its normal numbers. December, I had 71 downloads. But I had to sit there and talk to Ari. And I'm like, dude, you don't need to explain anything to me. I completely understand. You know, this this takes a lot of work for me. I mean, it's just two hours of recording. All right, two hours, there are three to four hours of editing each week. And then plus all the Instagram and all that stuff that I got to do. So in total, I'm spending about fifteen hour, 10 to 15 hours a week on this, depending on the week. So, you know, I get it. It was a lot of work from, yes, I did more work than ours. Ours did a lot of work on this podcast, right? But then once Ari left, it's just this podcast hasn't been the same. And you guys have seen that, all right? We, we based our thing around comedy. And just that comedy aspect hasn't been there. I like where we're at, the Pesco podcast, but I was just messaging Darn before this. I'm like, it's just not the same right now, you know? It's hard. It's hard without Ari. But I'm I'm so glad you guys still enjoy the content. And I'm going to do my best to get it to you guys with new guests, uh, new people to talk to, some of the old people that you guys enjoy, everything like that. So thank you guys for joining in. But we get to January, and my, something happened. All right? We went from 71 downloads in, January, in December to 175 in January. All right, throughout the 31 days of January, we have 175. I was able to get Brendan back on the show. He was a great guy. All right, I'm going to talk to him just about some random stuff. Apparently, he's a dancer. Who would have guessed? So that leads us to this month, right? This month has been insane. All right, that 175 record-breaking month that I told you guys about, I broke that number in 17 days for this for this month 17 days it took me to get back to 175 downloads right now we were on 258 for this month 258 downloads so far and we got a week we got five days left of february i think we can hit 300 if we hit 300 oh my god i don't know what i'd do but that's where we're at now. I left out a couple of little details, but that's the story of the Pesky Pole podcast so far. All right, which leads us to today, which one hour ago on Instagram, I dropped something that was insane. All right. Pesky Pole podcast has merch now. And it is insane. Oh my God, this, this, these shirts and stuff that we have are beautiful, all right? We have phone cases that are the cleanest thing I've ever seen. The black phone case, oh my God, guys. I don't know how you don't get one, all right? I don't know how you don't get a black phone case, at least, all right? Face masks, face masks and neck gainers with the Pesco Podcast logo on them, because why not? We have shirts that just have the logo on them, nothing else. We have shirts that have the logo on them, and on the back it says, uh, pitch outside, hit it to the pole. and I mean, that works perfect. I mean, it's, it's, it's a Fenway Park thing. You guys get it. If you're a right-handed hitter and the pitch is outside, you've got to drive that thing opposite side, hit the pole with it. All right? And then we have 
the shirts that my editor, Madeline, mostly designed. And it says, waiting for October baseball. All right. Got that little Massachusetts slang behind it. Shows you from the Boston. Shows you from New York. Uh, not New York. New England. Shows you from New England. All right. It's, it's a great shirt. It's a great set of shirts. I, I love them so much. Okay. And, and I just took a moment today. I had an insanely busy day today. But I just thought, like, I, I took a second, sat back, and was just like, look at all the stuff I've been able to do in the past, I don't know how long it's been. But it, now, I, I, let's just go with the whole year, all right? I've been able to first sit here and do a podcast with my best friend. That's first. That's, not, that's something I'll never be able to take away. Just doing the podcast with my best friend. All right, me and Ari, two idiots just having the time of our lives. We start this podcast. I was able to talk with somebody in the minors for the Red Sox and the Spinners. All right, I have an Instagram page that I've been able to slowly build up and build up and build up that now has 1,200 followers. That's insane. 1,200 people follow my stuff. All right, I have that. I have... What else? I have so much stuff that I'm thankful for now. I've been able to do five separate interviews with people. I was able to do that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about the pet, the other Pesco podcast. So we do our first episode on February 23rd. On March 3rd, another show called the Pesco podcast releases and uh, releases an episode on Spotify. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So that lit a fire under me to say, you know what, we need to be better than them so we can be the better pesky bull podcast. And here we are today. We're the better one. All right, but I got to sit here and do five great interviews. One of them I feel so bad on with a guy, Travis Kuhn. All right, the interview was so glitchy. His audio kept going out. My mic kept spazzing to hell and back. It was a horrible interview. I feel so bad for him. I want to get him back on the show sometime to actually have a good interview. And what else? There's there's so much stuff. I got like I said, I got to interview one of the one of my childhood dream. I got to sit here and talk with a professional Red Sox player. I got to sit here and just pick apart his brain on how he's feeling on playing for the greatest team in the world. I have my own merch. I have Pesky Pole Podcast merch. I already bought I already got a t shirt, a face mask, and a phone case on its way here for me. And it's available for you guys. Link in the Instagram bio and in the bio of this. I have so much stuff. The average episode, the average length of a podcast is 10 episodes. I, I'm on 56. I'm on episode 56 when the average is 10. Oh, Lord. That's insane. I, I've been persistent with this. Like I said, it, it's just. Sometimes you have to look back and just see what you're thankful for. All right. And right now, God's put me in a great place to the point where I can have this. I can have my career ahead of me because I never really want to do this. All right. For me, I want to be a professional ballet dancer. That seems weird for a guy who sits here and does nothing but talk about sports. But I want to be a professional ballet dancer. I want to be in a ballet company within the next seven, eight months time. So, you know, maybe that's a reality. Maybe it ain't. So. I don't know. We'll keep going with it. All right. Hopefully by this time in September, I will be with a ballet company and this will always, always be a side job for me. As much as I love it, it's not, it won't be enough to pay the bills. All right. I'm going to need something that'll pay the bills. This is going to be a side gig. That's mostly going to be just a passion of mine for you guys. Cause I love it too. And like, like I was saying, January, February have been record months for me. I mean, this month, like I said, I have the 258 on Spotify, but for YouTube, I have what, 55, 70, 85, uh, I have over 100 views, so I'm over 350 views for the month in total. I, I'm stoked. I couldn't be happier. 350 views, 350 times somebody wanted to click on my Click on my podcast and find it and listen to me. You don't know how much that means to me, guys. 
You don't know how much that means. And like I said, good Lord did me something special, all right? Always have my Bible right here facing my door. So every time I come in this door, I know the good Lord's there with me. And that's proven through everything I've done with this podcast, all right? With this podcast and just everything else that's happened. I've been through my fair struggles in life that is too personal for you guys to know about, but I've been through my fair struggles. That's what's got me through, all right? For anybody interested out there in doing a podcast, all right, first thing you need to know is, A, just start on YouTube for the first while. Make sure it's something you want to commit to before you put it on Spotify, iTunes, and waste your money, all right? Secondly, start an Instagram page. Get a bunch of followers on Instagram. Those people, my most loyal fans met me through Instagram. They didn't meet me from randomly clicking on Spotify. My most loyal fans met me through Instagram. That's how it is. You know, that's how, that's how it's going to be. So I love it. I love it, guys. I can't thank you guys enough for everything you guys have done for me. And some of my OG fans, all right, I got I got quite a few of them, all right? Patrick, if you're listening to this, my, my guy, he, he, was, he was one of the first. Patrick, Patrick's been here the longest, I think. Patrick's been one of my dudes, all right? Patrick, I don't know, listens to the episodes that much. I know he's listened to a couple, but I don't know how many he's listened to in total. But on for some of the others, like JD, all right, I know he's here. I know he's listening to it. JD, if you're here during the premiere, drop a what's up in the comments because I know you always hear. And just like looking through my, um, looking through my messages on, Instagram, I've seen all of you guys I've gotten met. Justin, JT Phone Home. All right, that's been one of my OGs. He's been here for a while. And, of course, Carson. All right, Carson's one of my dudes who I know who has showed me he's listens to a ton of the podcast episodes. It means the damn world to me. All right, I can't, I can't explain it. It's just something that you guys will see when I get bigger. All right, I'm never going to lose this attitude. I'm never going to lose this drive that I have to keep putting out good content. I'm never going to lose it. I'm never going to stop being thankful for you guys. You know, I'm an entertainer at heart. So I am. I'm a dancer, I'm a magician. I love being in front of people. I'm a podcaster. I love being in front of people. I love talking to people. I love performing in front of people. And without you guys, that's not possible. So I want you guys to know that thank you from the bottom of my heart for this, for this amazing year. All right. Enough with the more emotional and sappy side. I think it's time to start talking about some Red Sox news. I know we're like 30 minutes in at this point, but we're like 35 minutes in. So let's talk a little bit about J.D. Martinez, shall we? Now, J.D. is coming in with a chip on his shoulder. Okay? He said himself, he said in camp today, he said, I think I've got a little bit of chip on my shoulder. I've always played with that. I've always played with that chip, having to prove people wrong my whole career. It kind of might have it kind of might have went away a little bit, but I think I got it back a little now. All right. He had we can all be honest, he had a terrible season last year. Two thirteen average, seven homers, uh point six war. It was bad. He said a reporter asked him about that and he said, Thanks for reminding me of that. It was obviously a rough two months. It was one of those things I felt like I really wasn't prepared for last year. I felt it kind of caught me off guard with the whether we were going to play, whether we weren't. Uh, he also said, it definitely hurt me a bit. Obviously, I had to change up my routine to something I wasn't used to, talking about the loss of um, the video room. Uh, something I grew up with in the minors. Like I've said a million times, it's part of my routine. It's kind of something that just got taken away from me. I'm excited this year we're going to have it back in a sense, some kind of video where we can look at our swings. So I look forward to getting back to somewhat normal during these crazy times. You know, I can't wait to see what he can do, all right? I think he just needed this because he had a great 2018 year. We all know that. Great 2018, decent 2019, really terrible 2020. He needed that chip on his shoulder again. Now he's got it. I think everyone on this Red Sox team has that chip on their shoulder again, and they're ready to prove somebody wrong. They got a little complacent, even the new guys. All right, once they kind of got into the mold, saw the other guys get complacent, and they're like, eh, you know, let's do the same thing, all right? But now with a new, vibrant pitching core, the same guys in the hitting with some new, Marlon Gonzalez, 
um, uh, Hunter Renfro, some um, French Cordero, some of the new guys in there. We we get to see this kind of new side of uh, the Red Sox, this kind of pissed off side of them. We'll see what happens. I still don't expect the playoff berth, um, keeping my standards low this year. But am I going to complain if we make the wild card? Hell no. I'm going to be right there with them supporting. All right, and you damn well know I'm going to a game right in the middle of April, right before your boy graduates, because your boy 22. All right, your boy's senior in college. He's going to graduate in three months. But, you know, I, I want to I, I wanna go one more, one more game. And then wherever I go after this year, it'll be um, – I'll just watch Red Sox there. All right, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my personal self at the end of the episode, but – I'm sorry, there's so little Red Sox news this week that we're just going to kind of fly through it. It's going to take maybe 10 minutes. A little bit of news on JBJ, right? It's been insanely unlikely that we're going to keep him this year. All right, it's insanely, insanely unlikely that JBJ is going to end up in a Red Sox uniform. But you know what? If it happens, I'm not going to complain. Still my favorite player in the game. If if my favorite player ends up on the Red Sox, what am I going to say? I don't like it. I'm still going to be there for it. Um, the Red Sox are still in touch with them. They say we continue to stay in touch and make sure we're in touch with Scott about his situation, Scott being his agent. We're going to do that until it resolves. Obviously, as the winter's gone on, we haven't let that prevent us from making other moves when we've seen opportunities to add good players that fit us and can bo- bolster this roster. But we love Jackie and have stayed in touch with Scott on him throughout the entire winter. It's... I don't know, because we already have Gonzalez who can play outfield. We've got Kike Hernandez who can play outfield. we got Franchi Cordero. We have Verdugo. We have Hunter Renfro. We have um, Chavis. We already have six outfielders. It's it's insane. It, this I, I want the outfield in core of 2018 back. I'll be honest with you. I want, I want that. I want that back. The, the triple Bs. Ugh. So, I mm, it let's let's talk a little bit about Michael Chavis, all right? Shall we? This article says two years ago, Michael Chavis entered spring training as the number one prospect in the Red Sox farm system. And when Chavis got his first chance to live up, he did not disappoint, all right? But then he got up to the majors and has slipped to a two twenty eight batting average with fourteen homers and one hundred forty seven strikeouts. Same. The question is, we'll even have a roster spot, all right? I think if you don't give the second base spot to Chavis and give him one more season to prove himself, then you're doing it wrong. He needs to play second. Kike needs to be a utility Brock Holtish type. That's how it needs to go, all right? If that's not the way this goes, then we're kind of doing it wrong. Let's be honest with ourselves here. We're kind of doing it wrong if that's not the way we're going. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that. You guys comment down below. What do you think should happen with Michael Chavis for my YouTube people out there? Comment down below what you think should happen with Michael Chavis. All right. He's not a bench guy. He's too young to be a bench guy. Next, very small bit of news. French Cordero put on the COVID-19 list. Obviously, I hope his um, he gets back to 100%. This doesn't affect him at all. He just goes through it, and then it's done. I hope it's just very quick, very easy, very painless for him. But I'm glad it's happening now if it were to happen instead of in – um, April. Just get it out of the way in the start of spring training, then he'll be okay, hopefully. Praying to God that he'll be okay. And we'll just go from there. You know, it, it sucks. Uh, we claimed right-handed pitcher Joel Payamps off of waivers. Let me just see if this guy's done anything of value. I don't even think he's been in the majors at all. But it's worth a shot to look. And see if he's been anywhere close. Uh, he's been with the Diamondbacks. Ooh. I... He's had two years in the majors so far. Last, uh, He's only pitched seven innings total throughout his career. So, I mean, what are you going to expect? He's not. He had a uh, three ERA last year with three innings pitched with the, uh, with the Diamondbacks. So, he's not doing anything crazy, but... Hey, another pitcher is another pitcher. Like I said, 
I'm glad when we got John something. I'm glad when we got um, Hirokazu. I'm glad when we got all these guys. Pitcher is a pitcher, all right? If one doesn't perform, we move on to the next. And for that, let me just look up if I'm forgetting about any MLB news that happened this um, this uh, this week. And going through here, I don't see anything. Uh, Casimir seeks come back. Scott Casimir wants to go back to the Giants. Uh, Brave signed Jake Lamb. Oh, big boy Albert. We talked about this last episode. He's retiring after this, after this season. It's gonna be a sad season. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The big red machine. I've always hated him when he's played against Red Sox. He's playing against anyone else. I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting first. I'm rooting first team to win. And that's about. I'm gonna miss him. Twenty. He's forty-one years old. Great, great, great baseball player. And I'm trying to see what happened with the. Uh, um. I don't know what – something happened with the Seattle Mariners president about some comments he made, but I can't find the comments that he said. But, I don't know, uh, Johnny Damon arrested. All right, Johnny Damon's – don't forget, Johnny Damon's a big boy. Don't forget, he's a big boy. He is a very big boy. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But it's it's awesome. Um. And yeah, that's about it for everything I'm seeing. Yeah, that's about all the MLB and Red Sox news I got for you guys. So before I go, all right, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about myself. All right, the guy you see behind the camera. All right, I never really told you guys about myself, and this is something Ari and I wanted to do for the sixth month, like I said. But he said, "Let's wait for the year." So let's talk about me for a minute. My name is obviously Robert. I am a kid who's lived in a lot of different places in his life. All right, I started loving baseball at the age of four when I got into T-ball, and then I, my family moved down to Florida, and at the age of seven, I found a true love for the Boston Red Sox. My family family's from Massachusetts, so, you know, easily the team you just got to root for or the team you're forced to root for, and you just keep going with it. But around 2008-ish, my father brought, bought me some DVDs. Um, that were of the Red Sox 07 games. And it was every game, every pitch, every inning. And I would sit there. I watched those games so many times that I memorized what happened every single at-bat. I was seven. I could memorize every at-bat. That's how much in love I was with the game. All right, I played all throughout high school. My final year of high school, I um, batted 400. When I was, I was a JBJ-esque player my whole baseball career till I hit that year where I was always great defense good speed no offense that was my style and then I got to my senior year and somehow I bat 400 right had a great season tried to walk on d1 didn't end up working out after a year not playing baseball tried walking on d3 here and you guys know if you guys have tried to put down the game if you put it down for that long you're not nowhere near as good as you were before that's what happened to me. I just wasn't good enough anymore, and I had to drop it. But I found this love for podcasting and just talking about baseball, you know? And as Christian Goss and Garrett Willock said, some, we need people like that. We need people to just sit here and talk about the game and talk about what they do, you know? It's, it's a distraction from everything else going on in the world, you know? It's great. I love it. So finally, I just want to tell you, like, like I said, I'm a professional dancer. All right, there are multiple companies out there that I'm trying to look at to get into for next year after I graduate college. I don't know which one I'm going into yet. I haven't gotten any yeses from any companies yet. But we're waiting. Keep your fingers crossed for me. All right. Last thing I want to say to you guys and say it once again, louder for the people in the back, thank you and thank you, God, for everything that's happened to me. All right, you guys don't know how much of an impact this has made on my life. I've spent a year doing this, sitting in front of a camera, talking to you guys, hundreds of dollars on this podcast, 
and it's it's paid off. I have two other podcasts here sitting with me, one football, one basketball. I have hundreds of people that listen to my episodes every month. I have just everything I could want after one year of doing this. I, I have my own merch line. I have um, athletes that I've sat here and talked to. I have so much to be thankful for, and you guys will never know how much it means. So if you guys ever want to talk with me, my DMs are always open at Pesco Podcast. I respond to every single one and every single comment. So with that being said, all right, happy one year. Raise your glass with me. Happy one year to the Pesco Podcast. It's been a beautiful year, and y'all know I ain't going away anytime soon. So with that being said, God bless you guys. Make sure you keep him very, very close in your life. I really hope you do. Let's grow that out your music, and I will see you guys in the next time. Yeah, I've been running and running to keep it a hundred. It's all that I wanted, but lately I don't get the stomach. The higher the summit, the harder the plummet. They know me all over this planet. I'm just a man and I can't understand it. Proud that I win and I did it myself. Probably wouldn't if I got the help. Hearing subliminal soul on myself. Feel like I'm breaking, I'm falling to hell. Told me I'm sick and I tell her, oh well. Rather be dead than to know that I failed. Live for the chase, life is a race. I'm out of space, let me get on my face. I got a taste, while well, the whole play. Finna get laced to be step out of place. Like, first off, you don't run nothing. All talk and your team bluffing. My squad, we all dream crushing. We ain't rushing, no discussion. All I know is us made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Get down and I'ma get it right. Get on sight, like. And I'ma get it right, get on sight like Been down and I'ma get it right, get on sight like Never really know when you're gonna go. Why you gotta put another foot in front of yours? Fear them toes, carry them close. I was never one to care about my man toes. I was like froze, now I'm on floor. Give me that smoke, but I can't get high. We do the most, here to inspire. You don't want to sports, but I can't get tired. Run for your life every night. See in the dark, blind by the light. I got the spark, I got the pipes. All of my arts coming to life. Had to face my fears while I chased my peers and I found my spot. About time that I found myself, I've been out here walking that walk. Like, first off, you don't run nothing. All talking, your team bluffing. My squad, we all dream crushing. We ain't rushing, no discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'ma get it right. Dead on sight, like. First off, you don't run nothing. All talking, your team bluffing. My squad, we all dream crushing. We ain't rushing, no discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'ma get it right. Dead on sight, like. And I'ma get it right, get on sight like Big down and I'ma get it right, get on sight like